Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video we're going to be looking at the ELK stack. Alright, so when I say ELK stack, I'm not going to include the log stash component in it. So it's just going to be Elasticsearch and Kibana. Um, a while ago, I think it's a long while ago, I did a video about this. So if you search in my uh, Elasticsearch playlist, so you've got this video, Elasticsearch 4, where I've installed Elasticsearch, Kibana and then Filebeat, metric bit, but file beat and metric beat i installed on the client machine directly on the machine itself but i didn't use the docker container so this video is about how to run file beat in a container environment so the setup i've got for this video is i've got my my host machine is arch linux and i'm going to be running Elasticsearch and kibana as docker containers on my host machine and i'm going to bind port 9200 to my host machine and port 5601 for Kibana to 5601 on my host machine so that my file bit container can reach both Elasticsearch and Kibana. So I've also got a CentOS 7 virtual machine running. So that's going to be my client machine and I've got the Elasticsearch and Kibana on the host machine running as containers and I'm going to be running an Nginx container. The idea is to run FileBeat as a container in this client machine and then collect all the logs from all the containers running on this machine. So just to show you an example, I'm just going to run one container, Nginx container, and bind that container to port 8080 on this virtual machine. All right, so I'll then be able to access the Nginx page uh, by accessing port 8080 on this uh, virtual machine. All right, so you can run as many containers as you want in this machine and you can configure FileBeat to collect logs from all the containers and then ship it to the Elasticsearch and then you can visualize it in Kibana. All right, so let's start. Okay, so that's my terminal. I'm on my host machine. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to git clone my ELK repository. So I'll put a link to this GitHub repository in the video description if you want it. So cd to ELK and then to Docker. That's where I've got all my Docker Compose file. So I'm going to be using Docker Compose version 7.8.0, which is the latest as the uh, at the time of recording this video. So basically, I'm going to copy docker compose version 7.8.0.yaml to docker compose.yaml all right so um before starting the container let me show you what's in the docker compose uh, .yaml file so it's basically two containers elasticsearch and kibana so Elasticsearch is running on port 9200 and it's exposed to my uh, host machine similarly kibana i'm exposing it uh, to my host machine on port 5601 Kibana depends on Elasticsearch, so when you do Docker Compose up, it's going to bring up Elasticsearch container first, followed by the Kibana container, and I'm running version 7.8.0. So Kibana knows where to find Elasticsearch uh, by just specifying Elasticsearch as the host name, because these two containers are running on the, on the same machine within the same Docker Compose file using the same uh, underlying Docker network. So Kibana will be able to reach Elasticsearch by just typing Elasticsearch by just using the machine name. And I'm using Elasticsearch version 7.8.0. So that's my Docker Compose file. And one thing to note is if uh, before running the Docker Compose up, you need to set a kernel parameter, which is sudo sysctl minus w vm dot max underscore map underscore count equals 262144. You need to set this, otherwise your Elasticsearch container will fail to start and then you will see all sorts of errors in your Kibana container. Okay, so uh, do that and that's going to set this kernel parameter just for this session and if you reboot your machine, uh, that setting will be lost. In order to make it permanent, you just need to add this entry to etc sysctl.conf and paste it. I'm not going to do that, but that's the uh, file. Uh, etc sysctl.conf and you need to paste this entry here so that it will be permanent and persistent. Okay, so now we are good to start our docker containers. docker compose up minus d and if you're doing this for the first time it's going to pull the Elasticsearch and the Kibana container but I've done that already and I can do docker compose logs minus f to see what's going on and give it like 30 seconds to a minute because it's a Java process and it's uh, the service is being started. So it will take a while, maybe about a minute. So let's wait for this to complete. All right, so I think it's ready now. And you can see here in the logs, Kibana um, HTTP server running at port 5601. And the other thing is cluster health status changed from yellow to green. So that's from the Elasticsearch container. So I guess it's all running fine if I do Docker compose PS. 
So we've got Elasticsearch and Kibana, both are running and 9200-5601 bound to my local host. All right, so we've got our Elasticsearch and Kibana. Let's see if we can access the Kibana. So if I go to localhost, colon 5601. Okay, cool. So it's loading the Elasticsearch dashboard. Okay, so that's our Kibana dashboard. So we've got Elasticsearch and Kibana are running fine and we can access the Kibana dashboard. So now let's move on to the CentOS 7 VM and deploy these containers, Nginx container and a Filebeat container. Let me log into my virtual machine, SSH CentOS VM01, type in the password. Okay, so I'm in here. I'm gonna run a simple Nginx container, docker run minus D for daemon mode. I'm gonna bind port 8080 of the virtual machine to port 80 of the container. Give it a name, nginx, and run the image nginx. Okay, so that's done. Docker ps. Docker logs minus f nginx. Okay, so that's running fine. And if I do curl localhost colon 8080. Cool, so that's our nginx welcome page. And we should be, we should also be able to access this from our host machine. So if I look at the IP address, it's 172.16.16.101. Okay, let's try and access this. 172.16.16.101 colon double eight double eight. Okay, cool. So that's our Nginx welcome page. And let's see if it has made an entry in the Docker logs. Docker logs Nginx. Docker logs Nginx. Okay, so those are the entries that it has made. So now let's go ahead and deploy this Filebit container, configure it. Uh, to pull the logs from all the containers, not just Nginx container, but all the containers running on this machine and send that to Elasticsearch. Okay, so I'm gonna open the web browser and search for Filebeat Docker. And I'm gonna go with the Elastic documentation here for version 7.8. So the first thing is Docker pull, we are pulling the Filebeat Docker container. I've already done that to save some time. And if I do Docker images, so you can see that's the Filebeat container image and the Nginx image, which we were running earlier. Okay, so that's done. And now we're gonna run the second command, which is to set up the Filebeat so that it can talk to Elasticsearch and Kibana. So I'm gonna copy that. But before running it, I just need to do some edit. So what we're doing here is docker run and the, the, the file beat is the image and we are running the setup command. We are not actually running file beat, but we are just configuring file beat using this command. So we are just running the setup command and passing a couple of environment variables, setup.kibana.host, output.elasticsearch.host. So we need to specify where our Kibana and Elasticsearch servers are running so that this Filebit container can talk to them. Okay, so Kibana and Elasticsearch are running on my host machine and the IP address of my host machine is 192.168.1.81. So I'm gonna change that Kibana to 192.168.1.81. Similarly, for Elasticsearch 192.168.1.81, that's it. So copy that and run it inside the CentOS 7 virtual machine. So this is going to take a while. It might take about a minute or two. So it's setting up the dashboards, it's setting up the index patterns and everything. So once this is done and when we uh, start running the Filebit container, we should be able to see some data in our Kibana dashboard. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's done. All right, the command completed. Now let's configure Filebit and start the Filebit service. So back to the documentation. Uh, so they've given us a sample configuration file, which I'm going to copy and paste it here. And if I take a look at that configuration file, so this is the Filebeats configuration file. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to use uh, the same configuration file, but I'm just going to do one modification here. So the Filebeat.auto discover provider, so we are using the Docker provider. And under output.elasticsearch, I don't need username and password because the Elasticsearch container that I'm running on my host machine is not password protected. And host, I need to change this Elasticsearch to the IP address of my host machine where my Elasticsearch container is running. 192.168.1.81. So I think that's all needed. So if you want to configure, customize your configuration further, go ahead and do that. But for my use case, all I want to be able to do is just to collect logs from all the containers, Docker containers running on the on this CentOS 7 VM by this Filebit container. So for that purpose, I think this configuration is more than sufficient. So I'm gonna save that and go back to the documentation. 
So that's the command. Again, I'm gonna change a few bits in this command before running it. So open up text editor, paste it. So docker run minus D in the daemon mode and we're giving it a name, file beat, running it as the root user. And here we are binding the volume. So the, the file beat dot docker yaml file, the configuration file we just downloaded in our container here sorry ls file b.docker.yaml we're gonna bind this we're gonna mount this configuration file inside the container okay so we are uh, mounting this on the user share file bit file b .yaml as a read-only file so inside the container any process won't be able to modify this configuration file so there's only one place where you can modify from your host machine and then when you run docker run it's gonna mount that inside the container and start using it and apart from that we also have a couple of other volume mount one is the var lib docker container directory from your host machine uh, not the host machine when i say host machine according to filebeat the host machine is the centos 7 vm so it's binding var lib docker containers inside the container under the same path warlib docker container so it can have access to the logs from all the containers running on that centos 7 virtual machine and we are also binding var run docker dot so docker socket okay and that's the file bit image and the command we are running is file bit we are passing this environment variable which actually we don't have to pass it if you want to use it just change the elastic search to the ip address or dns name of the machine while you're running elastic search but actually we don't actually need to use this last bit we don't have to set that up okay because we've already set that in the configuration file output or elastic search dot host that's where we set that so we don't need to define that in two places so i'm going to copy that and paste it here okay that's done docker ps so we've got file beat container running as well as the nginx container running let's take a look at the logs from the file beat container logs minus f file beat okay so that's running fine i think and the last line you can see here connection to the elastic search 192.168.1.81 connection is established so which means the file beat container in my virtual machine can talk to the elastic search running on my host machine okay so that's cool all right so i think that's all needed and we've got everything set up and if I go back to my documentation, so we've got everything ready and now we can head to Kibana and find what's happening there. So back to my browser and go to the Kibana dashboard and I'm going to go to the stack management and index patterns. We should be able to see it. Yes, we do. So file beat dash star. So we are getting this. This index pattern is from the CentOS 7 virtual machine. All right. So I can go to discover. And we can start seeing logs from all the containers uh, being forwarded through the file beat container. Okay, so uh, it's not showing anything. Let's refresh, nothing. Okay, so let's start searching for container dot name equals nginx file beat. Yep, file beat container. Expand your time range. Let's change that to last. 30 minutes okay so you can see that here container.name is file bit so now what we are seeing here in the in the dashboard is just all the logs from the file bit container so we can also search for logs from this nginx container by searching for container.name is going to be nginx and update there we go so i had to refresh it for the few times and now you see all the logs from the nginx container okay so now you can see all the logs from the nginx container so basically uh we've just uh, deployed one nginx container and we are seeing logs for that nginx container you can deploy as many containers as you want in your machine and filebait will be able to collect logs from all the containers and it can ship that to Elasticsearch, and you can visualize it in kibana okay i think that's all i wanted to cover in this video and give it a try if you've got any questions or any comments let me know i'll be able to help and make sure to subscribe to my channel i've got more videos coming and i will see you all in my next video Bye bye